Hey E-Tech owners, it's Paul from OneCast One Fish, and today we're back on the Evinrude E-Tech 150, and today we're going to be replacing the exhaust back pressure nipple. Now we're going to be working on getting our lower covers removed. And in an ideal situation, these bolts should only be hand tight. Once we get those bolts loose, we should be able to gently pull that lower cover off. To find the exhaust pressure fitting, you're going to want to look on the top of the EMM. Here you're going to see where it says exhaust. And you're going to see a hose attached. You're going to want to follow that hose on down the motor. And you're going to see where it attaches to the exhaust pressure fitting. We're going to start by removing the hose from the EMM. You're going to want to snip the zip tie and then gently pull that hose off the nipple. Holding the hose in place at the exhaust pressure fitting, you'll see there's a clamp that has to be pulled back. Once that clamp's pulled back, you should be able to easily remove the hose. And now we'll be able to remove our hose for inspection. One thing I want to point out with this hose is that if you've not changed your exhaust pressure fitting or looked at this hose in years, chances are it's probably jam-packed full of carbon. And another thing that's important to note with this hose is that it's located right here before that hose goes into the EMM. Prior to entering the EMM, there's a small orifice that's located inside the hose. And this thing is very prone to being plugged with carbon. As if you look inside, you probably can't even see it, but there's a tiny little hole in there. And that small orifice is what's going to regulate our exhaust pressure going to our EMM and help keep carbon and other junk out of there. Now, in my case, the hose was completely full of carbon and the little orifice was completely blocked. I tried to get all the carbon out of the hose and the little orifice. However, I didn't feel really comfortable with the end result. So in the end, I decided to purchase a new hose and orifice. When putting the new orifice in the hose, I want you to know that it is directional. You'll see that one end has an open end and the other side is actually flat. This flat side is gonna go into the hose first and this open side is gonna go toward the EMM. And we're gonna press it about an inch into the hose. With the orifice in place, we're gonna place our hose back onto the exhaust nipple of our EMM. Now before we zip tie this and route our hose back through the motor, we're going to remove the old exhaust pressure fitting. And that exhaust pressure fitting should be removable with a 7 16 socket. As you can see, our fitting is pretty dirty and covered in carbon, but it's not as bad as some I've seen, as I've actually seen where this portion has been burned off or missing. So judging by the amount of carbon that was in the exhaust pressure fitting and the hose and orifice, odds are that the EMM was not getting a very accurate or reliable reading for the exhaust pressure on this motor. That's why when doing the three year, 300 hour service, it's important that we remember to replace that exhaust pressure fitting as part of our normal maintenance. Installation of our new exhaust pressure fitting is pretty simple. We're gonna place some tape here around our threads. When installing that fitting, we wanna make sure we just do it hand tight to avoid cross threading anything. Then we can use our 7 16 socket to tighten things up. Now you'll route the hose back down to the pressure fitting. Now a very important step is before you put the hose back on the exhaust pressure fitting, make sure that you get this clamp put back on our hose. With the clamp in place, we'll slide our hose back over our exhaust pressure fitting. And we'll slide that clamp back over our fitting to make sure our hose stays in place. And for our last and final step, we don't want to forget to reattach our zip tie. I hope after watching this video, you're a little more comfortable replacing your exhaust pressure fitting on your Evinrude E-Tech. And as always, if you have any questions, feel free to ask down in the comment section below. And we'll see you next time on the water.